Thank you. Well, it is a tough time of year this year for a lot of people who are really missing spending time with their families because usually they get together and they celebrate big. But this year, a lot of people are choosing to celebrate safely and smaller. There are still a lot of things, though, that you can do safely with your family today and support local businesses as well. Tanisha Cordell joining us live outside the Christmas Story House and Museum in Tremont, Tremont a classic space uh, spot. Tanisha, this is one of the local hot spots that's still open today. Just one, Katie, lots in store. And as you mentioned, we're kicking it off right here. Uh, the Christmas Story House and Museum opens today at 10 a.m. and it doesn't close until 3 this afternoon. So plenty of time for your families to come out and hang out again safely. You can also stay tonight if you're really looking to get out the house. That's all pending reservations, of course. But again, the fun doesn't stop here. We have so much in store and a lot more going on around town this Christmas Eve. If you're looking to get out the house and maybe hit the slopes this Christmas Eve, head to Mansfield. The snow trails open at 9 this morning and close at 5 tonight. You'll also save big on tickets with special pricing in effect all day today. Now, Metro Parks has a few options for you and your family, too. The toboggan shoots in Strongsville will be open from noon until 4 today. You'll need a reservation to get in, though, since capacity is limited. You can also check out Winter River Fest at Rivergate Park. The event continues today from 11 until 6 tonight. You can go ice skating, check out light displays, grab a drink at the beer garden, or just distance yourself from everyone at the Igloo Village setup at Merwin's Wharf. And if you still have that itch to shop, check out the West Side Market. The shops will be open from 8 to 2 p.m. today. There's more than 80 vendors inside the Cleveland landmark, all of them hoping more shoppers stop by to help them kick off the new year. It's going to help us, you know, get into January because January is always a struggle anyway. Now, if you're going to any indoor events today or just over the next couple of weeks, make sure you take your masks. They will be required. And it's also a good idea to call ahead, making sure those events don't require uh, any reservations. That will be the case for most events going on just because of limited capacity. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5. Yeah, Tanisha.